where I was born. I was born in the Bronx, Bronx, New York. When? <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, what were you doing before you entered the service? What was I doing before I entered the service? I was a kid in high school. Uh, uh, I was 17 years old in my senior year in high school. I had a, a feeling that I wanted to join the service, sort of to, uh, in a way, to straighten me out. I was um, a good kid, just I needed discipline, had a, a little bit of a wild streak in me. In my senior year in high school, um, I was just a student. My senior year in high school, I pretty much decided to go into, into the service. And towards the end of my senior year, I decided to go into, into the Marine Corps. The living conditions were hard, uh, a lot of hardship. Um, living conditions are at night, you, you have to have a foxhole to dig in case you get attacked. You have to, your foxhole has to be a minimum of anywhere from two feet to four feet. Uh, sleep, you're uh, deprived of sleep because at night it's 50% alert. Uh, that means you, you team up with another guy in your squad and you, you man the foxhole together and just guys to your right, guys to your left are doing the same thing and he's, he's on watch for two hours and you sleep for two hours. He's on watch for two hours, you sleep for two hours. So you, you're deprived of sleep. You never get a full eight hours of sleep. On to, off to, on to, off to. Now you're not only deprived of sleep, but you can be attacked at any time and you have no light. So now you have, have your war gear, gear on. So if you get attacked, you just can't say, oh, where's my rifle, where's my helmet, where's my flat jacket. Your, your flat jacket is on, your helmet's right next to you, you're laying on your back. I got used to laying on my back, opening my flat jacket, and keep my M16 on my stomach. So if I need, needed to grab it real quick, I knew at night, figure closing your eyes and at night, you can, you can grab everything and you're ready to fight. Instead of getting up, uh oh, where to put my ammunition, where to put my rifle. You're dead. You, by then, if, if you're that unorganized, you're dead. So you get used to sleeping on the ground. You get sleeping. It could be snakes crawling. crawling. It could be uh, poisonous uh, mosquitoes or poisonous whatever, insects. Uh, you get used to living on the ground. You, you, you're sleeping either on dirt or on jungle, in the jungle, on the ground. That's why I said to you before, in the beginning of my tour in Vietnam, we had army cots. And that army cots lasted just a few months, and then we're out for the next eight months. We're out in the field. Never seen an army cot. Never seen a hot water. Never seen a shower. Never seen anything. Never changed our uniform. We wore the same clothes for the whole, your, your, pretty much your whole tour. The only time you'd change it if your your um, we call it utilities were ripped off of you. Did those conditions make you? Make you miss home and your family? You miss home, no. You, you, you miss home, whether you, you were in a cushion um, uh, position in, in Vietnam or anywhere overseas, you probably miss home uh, the most, uh, uh, the same. However, the time goes much slower because now you Every minute and every hour is like pulling teeth. Do something for two hours that you hate doing. And let's say it's 115 degrees outside and you're wearing clothes for the winter and you have to walk as fast as you can. You have to walk uh, a mile within five minutes and it's 115 degrees. You have 30 pounds of clothes on you and you have to do that for the next two hours. How long will those two hours last? Rather than sitting in the movie theater, air conditioned movie theater, and watching a movie for two hours, the, the two two hour movie would fly by. You're doing something that that's very distasteful, very extremely hard. Those two hours, uh, like each minute is like two hours.